my great outdoors map that I'm making for my western campaign thinking about yes yeah I added a, a new catch basin so I, I missed it so there's another old fort and there I added this old river you know because I thought that would be interesting for the two forts to kind of communicate that way probably like a, a scout and maybe like a main supply fort is maybe that old catch base in there is some big old lake I mean it's like a 30 mile long or 24 mile 30 mile long thing there so it's a pretty big part of the sea who knows what that is who knows where this even is it's just somewhere interesting so I'm gonna start to add a uh, hunting zones based on a uh, Wherever there's like a deer or elk or whatever those thingies are supposed to represent an old outdoor survival map. I thought I had a wolf up here. Uh, the wolves and the deer here are just like the whole circle of life and all that. With the old man of the fort caught in the middle. <laughs> See, I have like a, a bunch of different icons here. Of course, I ain't gonna be using those dragons or dinosaurs, or elephants. Oh, it's hard not to use them, dinosaurs, fellas. <laughs> I was reading a blog, I don't remember which one, but the guy was saying they would do all kinds of things with, uh, with Boot Hill, and they ended up adding dinosaurs and stuff their old Boot Hill game, which I thought was kind of funny. I played Boot Hill one time and it was back in the early days of the internet. We didn't have like that fancy voice chat stuff, so it was a form game. On a, it was this place called uh, Roleplay.net. All kinds of integrated character sheets and stuff, but we played in this huge game with like 20, 30 people. We're all, we're all different people, part of the town. <clears throat> it was pretty fun. I really enjoyed that game. I had a couple characters. You know, they kept dying. So I was just a, I was a kid. I didn't know what Boot Hill was, and they taught me game, the system. And I just had a blast. So that's part of the reason I want to run this Western kind of open world sandbox style game. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to put that cow there or not. I'm going to put it down there so the starting city becomes like a cattle town. I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah, and then put the sheep up there. You always got to have the sheep uh, herders and the cattlemen fighting. That's just tradition in the West. <laughs> At least where I'm from. Or a pretty long standing like feud and kind of a little miniature war. And, uh, I, the government actually had to get involved and make this uh, Bureau of Land Management area so that the sheep herders and the cattlemen would stop uh, slaughtering each other because it was a slaughter up until about the you know, 30s or 40s in this area where I live. So, you know, there's a, there's a lot of real, like, crazy things that happen in the West that I don't think a lot of people are aware of, but for, it was such a short period, it wasn't a very long period, you know, not even 50 years long. But a lot of us old Americans have a big old fascination with the West. I think there's just a lot of heroes and stories and that kind of stuff's always exciting. It's also really weird. There's a lot of things you don't really know about, like as far as records and such. You know, those frontiersmen really resisted getting uh, 
census, I guess. <laughs> Gotta add some buffalo to this uh, Native American tribe. Yeah, it just makes sense. Since I idea is to start this game in 1868, so possibly over time something bad will happen, as it always does. But maybe some of the players will step in and play some Native Americans that just cut a swath in territory or something, who knows what they'll do. That's kind of the exciting thing about a, a sandbox game, I think. You know, these players will come in and, and change things, build their little mini empires. Gotta add old deer up here to the forest. Yeah, the outdoor survival map's really well designed. It's all these animals and how Gygax and all them decided that they'll use this map for their fantasy games. Uh, we thought it'd be interesting to change up the animals to kind of make these different hunting zones. It'll make players range all over the map if they want to be like you know, recognized as big game hunters or some such. Get the mountain men to stop laughing at them in town. <laughs> you know, some of these icons are, are off brand, they're not part of World Anvil. So I thought they'd look more interesting. Spot is next, fellers. Some horses up here to this military place. And another kind of cattle. This, these probably aren't really like hunting zones for little horses and cows. Those are like grazing lands. And you know, if you want to do some breaking in the horses and capture them at that zone, that's probably what that whole military base is there for. Maybe they're like a cavalry training depot or some such. Add some mountain lions to keep them soldier boys on edge, you know what I mean, fellers? <laughs> I think uh, there's only one moose hunting spot in this area. And same with the bear. Might be two bear spots. I guess those are just like the big ones. I didn't really think about that. I guess I just instinctively did that. <laughs> Interesting how the mind works, isn't it, fellers? I guess that's the rest of the video fellas if you have any questions please comment down below I hope you like my video if you want to see more of this stuff please uh, subscribe
I hope you guys uh, have a good game next time you play, and keep your shield arm strong, alright?